Cummins on highway engines built after January 1st of 2007 all have a particulate filter to remove exhaust matter. In addition, Cummins on highway engines built after January 1st of 2010 use a Cummins after treatment system which includes selective catalytic reduction or SCR technology. Cummins engines use clean diesel technology which leads to near zero emissions. The Cummins after treatment system requires maintenance and addressing it in a timely manner is important. Dash lamps and switches help identify what you need to know and do to operate the vehicle efficiently. One thing to watch, not all trucks are set up with the same switches or even the same lamps. The setup depends on the make, model and optional equipment on your truck. Check your vehicle owner's manual to see how your vehicle is configured. For detailed information, there is a driver tip card available for you to review. It explains all of the warning lamps and what you should do if they come on. Most of the time, the after treatment system won't require action from you. When it does, dash lamps may illuminate to let you know action is needed. Again, remember that there might be differences from manufacturer to manufacturer in the way the lamps are installed on the dash or when they come on. The after treatment system warning lamps will keep you informed about the system and any action that you may need to take. One dash lamp that you will see from time to time is called the high exhaust system temperature lamp or the high exhaust temperature lamp. It has symbols representing the exhaust and a thermometer. It indicates, when illuminated, that the exhaust system temperature is higher than normal because of an active regeneration. If you're driving and the high exhaust system temperature dash lamp comes on, there's nothing you need to do. It's simply for your information. On most trucks, active regeneration only occurs automatically, without driver action, when you're moving. So if you're stopped or moving below a certain programmable speed, active regeneration will not automatically occur. However, if active regeneration is taking place while you're driving and then you slow down or stop, active regeneration stops and the HEST dash lamp may come on just to let you know that the after treatment system may still be at a higher temperature than normal. When this is the case, avoid parking the vehicle over readily combustible items, such as paper or leaves, just as a precaution. Also, make sure your exhaust pipe outlet is not directed at any combustible surface or material. And of course, don't get too close to the hot exhaust system. If excessive odor or white vapor are present, have your exhaust system inspected for leaks. In some cases, you might be running in a light duty cycle and not running at highway speeds long enough for an active regeneration to occur. If that's the case, the diesel particulate filter may start to become full of particulate matter. If this happens, a different dash lamp comes on. This dash lamp is called the diesel particulate filter lamp, or DPF lamp. It has a symbol representing exhaust gas passing through a filter, which indicates that the particulate filter is becoming filled. The lamp tells you that the system needs your help in order to perform a regeneration at the next opportunity, sometime between two and six hours. So, what do you do? First, make sure the DPF switch is not in the inhibit position as that may be preventing regeneration. If that's not the case, then you can help that system clean itself by simply changing to a more challenging duty cycle. For instance, driving on the highway for 20 minutes or so. So if the DPF lamp comes on, then you know that you'll be on the highway in a few hours. You don't need to do anything different. The system will automatically clean itself when you begin driving at highway speeds. What do you do if you're not going to be on the highway? Well, that depends. If your truck is equipped with a manual or parked regeneration switch, you basically turn on an active regeneration while your vehicle is parked. If you don't have a parked regeneration switch, within two to six hours, you need to find a service location that will perform the necessary work. To help ensure that regeneration is performed when needed, the DPF light will begin flashing if regeneration has not occurred and engine power may be reduced. If regeneration still needs to be performed, both the DPF light and the check engine light will begin to flash. If this is the case, 
The after treatment DPF requires immediate regeneration and engine power will be reduced further. If regeneration still has not been performed, the red stop engine lamp and after treatment DPF lamp will come on. If this happens, it means that after treatment DPF regeneration has not been completed successfully in a timely manner. The vehicle must not be operated and you must arrange for immediate service. 2010 and later engines include Selective Catalytic Reduction, or SCR systems, which use a chemical reactant, in this case, diesel exhaust fluid, or DEF, which converts to ammonia in the exhaust stream and reacts with NOx over a catalyst to form harmless nitrogen gas and water. DEF is prepared by dissolving solid urea to create a 32.5% solution in water. The SCR system basically consists of three elements. The catalyst is mounted in the exhaust stream. It can be similar in outward appearance to a muffler. It contains a chemical coating which, in the presence of ammonia, helps transform nitrogen oxides into the harmless chemicals nitrogen and water. DEF is carried on board the vehicle as a water solution in a storage tank. The storage tank is sized to minimize operator filling, but within packaging and weight constraints of the vehicle. The DEF dosing system sprays a fine mist of DEF into the decomposition reactor. How much DEF does an SCR system use? Typically, DEF consumption is about 200 miles per gallon. DEF is widely available. As a driver, you just need to check your DEF gauge whenever you refuel. If you let it fall below preset levels, you will have dash lamp indicators to remind you to take action. Let's take a look at these indicators. An illuminated DEF lamp is an indication that the DEF level is low. This can be corrected by refilling the DEF tank at the next possible opportunity. If the DEF lamp and the check engine lamp are illuminated, this indicates an even lower DEF level, an incorrect DEF type, or an SCR system issue. When these two lamps are on, you may experience a mild loss of engine power. So, you should refill the DEF tank with the correct type of DEF as soon as possible. And, if the lamps stay on, you should schedule service immediately. A flashing DEF lamp along with a solid check engine lamp indicates that the DEF level is critically low, an incorrect DEF type, or an SCR system issue lasting for more than five hours. You will experience a severe loss of engine power, again, you should refill the DEF tank with the correct type of DEF as soon as possible. And, if the lamps stay on, you should schedule service immediately. If the red stop engine lamp comes on along with the flashing DEF lamp and an illuminated check engine lamp, this indicates that the DEF level is critically low and the fuel tank has been refilled without refilling the DEF tank, or that the engine has idled for an hour or has been shut down. If all three of these lamps are illuminated, your vehicle will be limited to a speed of 5 miles per hour. Again, you should refill the DEF tank with the correct type of DEF as soon as possible. And if the lamps stay on, you should schedule service immediately. The Cummins After Treatment System allows your truck to comply with federal laws covering exhaust emissions. Know how your truck is configured and what you need to do in response to the various lamps that you might see. Time for a knowledge check. If you're on the highway driving at cruising speed and the high exhaust system temperature light comes on, what do you need to do? The answer is simple. You don't have to do anything. The light is simply for your information, telling you that the after treatment system is regenerating and because of that, there are higher than normal exhaust temperatures. Here's another question. You're on city streets in a light duty cycle and the diesel particulate filter light comes on. What do you need to do? The answer is, you can take two courses of action. If you're going to be back on the road at highway speeds within the next two to six hours, the system will clean itself automatically. If you can't change the duty cycle and you have a parked regeneration switch, you should stop and do a parked regeneration. Now for one more question on the particulate filter. You're still on city streets. 
The diesel particulate filter light is flashing and the check engine light is on. What should you do? When the DPF light is flashing and the amber check engine light is on, pull over in a safe area and perform a parked regeneration immediately if your vehicle is equipped with a park regeneration switch. If you don't have a parked regeneration switch, get service for the engine immediately. Here's the last question. This time, it's about the DEF lamps. Which of these lamps might come on when you are running low on DEF? The DEF lamp, the check engine lamp, or the stop engine lamp? The answer is that all of these lamps might come on depending on how much DEF you have or if you have let it run completely out. The best way to avoid having any of these come on is to just check your DEF tank when you stop for fuel.